Hi YouTube. Let's go down to the basement. I got something to show you guys. You won't believe it. And uh, I'll tell you what happened. I'm gonna put the camera down, it's in here. Put it straight down. Ready? There she is. Why is this not, everybody says, oh, why don't you drive it? Well, why do I got it? Let me get the flashlight and I'll show you kind of the reasons why. Well, not there. That's just water. But if you see there, there's oil from the transfer case from the other pickup. And obviously, this pickup smells like a skunk because a skunk sprayed it at the farm last night. <laughs> and there's some stuff painted down there. Well, um, I'll tell you what. They took a look at my transfer case, and this one looks like good shape. I never even looked at it. There's no oil leaking on it at all. Looks good. But I tell you what, they looked at it, and the housing was cracked. So, $800 for a new transfer case. And I don't think I'm going to do it. So, I got this vehicle right now at the moment. I'm probably going to look, look for a different vehicle. That's not diesel leak in there. That's just water snow out of the bed and the pickup that's why it's leaking there but notice how clean this pickup is the frame is not rusted at all just a little bit on the springs there big drive shaft there there's not really much wrong there the the control arm and the front for the steering is bad but other than that it's in very good shape that's kind of the reason why we're not driving it and the other reason is, is this vehicle is only used, you can see the ball there, the fifth wheel ball, this thing's only used to, to haul cattle. And it has no muffler, and the cops are out everywhere tonight, and I don't feel like getting pulled over for a loud exhaust. Um, let me show you here. You can see the pipe just going up to the turbo, it's just a pipe. I think it's a three inch pipe, not a four inch. This going all the way back to here there you go Heart just barely fits in here so I gotta use this because I gotta drive long ways every day and uh, almost every day and it's I need a vehicle and I don't mind diesels this one gets about I think 20 miles per gallon that's pretty damn good um, it's a six cylinder 5.9 24-valve Cummins, you know. But uh, I don't normally like diesels because they're expensive to maintain and they're expensive to run. But this vehicle just sits there all the time on the farm. Uh, the only thing I hate about it, it doesn't have a key fob. Everything is manual. And you can tell it was a farm vehicle. It's never been vacuumed out in its life since we've owned it. Probably bought it like in 2003, I think, or 2004. So, it smells like, kind of like cows and your manure. You know, I'm just going to see if there's any mouse nest in there. I smelt some mouse nest, I thought, but it's got the airbag. It doesn't have a CD player. At least the radio works in this one. The radio doesn't work in my avalanche at all something's wrong the speakers work half the time and half the time they don't it's got four by four um the air conditioner does not work i don't know it ran out of freon it's got the displays thing up there for the miles per gallon and the temperature this is a 99 dodge 2500 with automatic and i wouldn't be driving it if it wasn't an automatic i don't like manual i couldn't drive manual i just hate manual for some reason but this 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 pickup sits so high off the ground. It's a nice truck. Don't get me wrong. We've never. Only thing we've did is put a crank position sensor and a few batteries and the tires. That's all we've all done to it since 2003. We haven't hardly did anything to it. Don't want to say too much. Just knock on wood, you know. 
um, the crank position sensor went out on it. I don't know if that's what's going on now. Again, once in a while it won't start. Um, we should pop the hood here quick here. You guys probably want to look underneath there quick here. I was going to check and see if it was leaking any oil or anything. It's going to be 60 degrees tomorrow almost. 50 or whatever. This pickup here is loud as fuck. It's loud. I don't know if I can even get it up. I don't think so. Furnace is turned on. There's the fan. It's still hot. There she is. I can't even get it up. It rubs on her. Furnace is under. Yeah, see? I have to bump on the wall here. I wonder if the thing's. I hope it's not putting pressure in my wall here. Probably is. Two batteries. Diesels take two batteries. A little bit of power steering leak down there. What else is new? Furnish should click here. And I put a new water pump in there too. That was easy. Yep. Put a new uh, thermostat in there because that was shot. It warms up in the winter time now. Before it wouldn't warm up. You had to put a cardboard thing in the front. You still have to though. Cummins never warm up. All right, guys. I just wanted to show you that that uh, the avalanche cannot be run. I don't know if we'll fix it. I don't know. Maybe later. But right now, I'm gonna drive this until my dad needs it. It's his truck. It's a nice vehicle. Don't get me wrong. I don't like the muffler. Well, it's kind of loud though. The cops don't like it. All right, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. And thought I'd show you that. Thing looks sweet, don't it? I miss my Chevy already, though, kinda. Yeah, I do, because this, this one rides so rough.